Hello everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Pathshala. Today I will discuss about a problem which came in Sechan June 2023 Mathematical Science Part B and the question ID is 704026. Let's see the problem. Which one of the following function is uniformly continuous on the open interval 0 1? Before starting the problem, we will see a result. A continuous function f on open interval a b to real number r is uniformly continuous on open interval a b if limit extends to a plus f x and limit extends to b minus f x exist. In the first option, what is given f x equal to sin by 1 by x. So, for that reason, we have to check limit extends to a plus here a equal to 0, limit extends to 0 plus f x. So, that is limit extends to 0 plus sin 1 by x. So, for the checking limit as x tends to 0 plus, we have take two paths. One path is xk equal to 2 by 4k plus 1 into pi. Another path is xk equal to 1 by k pi. Here k is an integer. So, as xk tends to 0 plus k tends to what? k tends to plus infinity. So now we check the limit in the into in these two path. So here limit k tends to plus infinity we check that xk tends to 0 plus as implies k tends to plus infinity. Sin 1 by xk that means 4k plus 1 into pi by 2. That is what? That is actually sin pi by 2. So, limit k tends to infinity sin pi by 2. So, that is 1. Now, for this path, we have to check limit. Limit k tends to k tends to plus infinity sin 1 by sk that means k pi. That is, that, that is what? That is 0. We get 0. So now we can see limit extends x k tends to 0 plus in this path we get limit 1 and this path we limit 0. Therefore limit extends to 0 f x does not exist. Does not exist. Okay, that means f x is not uniform continuous on, on the open interval 0, 0, 1. So option 1 is wrong. For the option 2, fx equal to e to the power minus 1 by x square. Okay. So, we have to check limit x tends to 0 plus fx. So, here we get limit x tends to 0 plus e to the power minus 1 by x square. What can we write? Limit x tends to 0 plus 1 by 2 to the power 1 by x square. As x tends to 0 plus that becomes infinity. So 1 by infinity becomes 0. So limit x this limit exists and equal to 0. Now we have to check limit x tends to 1 minus fx. Similarly we get limit x tends to 1 minus to the power 1 by so minus 1 by x square. That is basically e to the power minus 1, that is 1 by e. So both the limit exist. x tends to 0 plus and x tends to 1 minus. Both the limit exist. So here fx is uniformly continuous on the open interval 0, 1. So option 2 is right. Since this is the problem of part b, we don't need to check the option 3 and option 4, only option 2 will be right. Now we can check the option 3 and option 4. 
we can see cos 1 by x is also no, not defined at x equal to 0 and cos pi by x is also not defined x equal to 0. What we done in the first option, similar option, we can, similar way we can find the limit of fx in the, three, in the option 3 and option 4. For the option 3, we also take two paths. One path is a equal to one path is one path is, is x k equal to one by two k pi. Another path is x k equal to two by two k plus one into pi. We can check the in these two way the limit of f x is defined. Therefore, the limit as x tends to zero plus. Therefore the limit of fx as x tends to 0 plus does not exist therefore fx is not uniform continuous on 0 1 similarly for the four option if we take xk equal to 1 by 2k another for another xk equal to 2 by 2k plus 1 we also we can see the limit as x tends to 0 fx we have get for we get two different limits so the limit does not exist at x tends to 0 plus therefore fx is not uniform continuous on the open interval 0 to 1 so option 4 also wrong so option 2 is right thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe thank you very much